Hello, it is Flag Friday, and once again, Prince is Friday, and he because I, I once again need to fight like a girl. It's Friday, and I make up the day. It's a good thing I'm not wearing makeup. I am wearing makeup because then it gives me a challenge to not cry. Um. So last night I found out my sister, second oldest, um, she's being put into a hospital. She's being hospitalized um, for her depression, um, and I just need to make it through the day again. I I gotta say goodbye to her this morning because I hear from my mother she doesn't want visitors. I hear she doesn't want visitors and. Um, who knows how long she's going to be in there, we're hoping that no longer than a week. But when my mom was institutionalized the first time, she was in it for six weeks. So it just... And it just, it just kind of shows me how messed up our, our mental hospitals really works. Like, my, my mother was telling me about, she's in group with my father and other things. I'm not sure which group this one was, but there's this girl in her group, a cutter, and she she one time was feeling very suicidal. And she's actually she's homeless right now, like kind of thing. Which I'm not sure how she's able to do therapy appointments if she's homeless. But um she's homeless right now and she was feeling suicidal so she went to a mental hospital and tried to check herself in, but they wouldn't accept her because she has no health insurance. And then we have found my sister's case where she She's not even that severe. She's not at risk of killing herself or cutting. I mean, she cut once in her life, but other than that, she hasn't tried. And they put a call 5150 on her. She was going to do an outpatient program, but we can't afford to do that with the wedding coming up because it would be six weeks without traveling. Um, but it's just like, my sister, she's, she's depressed, yes, and she needs help. Um, but I don't think she really needs, it's not so severe that she needs to be forcibly hospitalized, you know, um, especially compared to that girl who, who really needed the help and she wanted the help, she was gonna go do it herself, she was like, and who knows, maybe she will kill herself sooner or later because she didn't get that help, I mean, she's still going to my mom's with therapy, so she seems to be fine-ish at the moment, but it's just like, oh my god, you know, it's just so messed up. I don't know if you can even hear me because I'm kind of saying this under my breath because I'm in a classroom um, and there's a teacher over there. I mean, this is my advisory class, so I don't really need to be doing work. I can do this. But I'm just, I'm going to miss Kate so much. I just must be really scared right now. I mean, I don't know what time they are taking her to the hospital. I just know that they are doing it today. My mom, my mom almost let me in school today. But we know I can't afford to miss too much. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. I, you probably want to stop seeing me cry. I want to stop seeing me cry too. Uh, recently, I have been feeling depressed. Um, there's a number of reasons. I have a number of triggers. Um, and... Like the other day, there, Tuesday, I was doing a homework assignment, and I just, I couldn't, a class assignment, I just couldn't concentrate, and trying to concentrate just made my brain hurt, it just, it triggered a migraine, and that lasted me for several periods, um, and I just been depressed recently, and this isn't helping. My therapist at first helped, um, but now it's just coming back. I need my migraine to have it come back. Oh crap, crap, I feel a tear escaping. Dry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, I'm just trying, trying to make it. Um, I really need a fight on right now. Um, and I really need. I don't know what else I want to say. These videos are never really planned exactly. Um, I think I want to start doing a blog thing. I mean, I know I'm not diagnosed with any sort of mental disorders. I'm not. I'm not manic depression or MDD or chronic depression. I don't have anything. I mean, my family does, but I don't. But um, 
I feel like it's still nice to see because my posts um, and things I journal um, are kind of very, very deep and they're just, I think it'd be nice for people to see that they're not alone in feeling these kind of things because that definitely helped me when I had my migraine because I was feeling depressed and started getting a migraine so one place like to a fan page where I'm out and was like, hey guys, or, do you guys ever get headaches or migraines or why not when you're depressed or is it just me and then I got a bunch of support back and I'm like okay it's not just me so then it could be possibly depression um and I think it'd be nice also for some people to see from people's point of view who don't have these disorders but they see people struggling with these disorders you know because you usually get it from the point of view of those with the problems and not those around them so I think it might be nice for some of those people, such as myself, um, to see people who are dealing with people's problems and not sure how to deal with them. Just the other day, I have a friend. Um, she, I love her. She's um, she's got chronic depression, but her pill she's max um, MDD, and then she's she's got like anxiety and paranoia and all those things. And she had texted me, and she was like. Um, she got a migraine. She's migraine really bad. She got a migraine. And she she was gonna go out to this dinner thing with me for my grandma's 80th birthday, and she was like, "I have a migraine. And I'm I get an anxiety attack. I think everything's trying to kill me, you know." Because when she gets anxious, she gets really paranoid, and I was like, "What do I do?" Because it's like she kept on texting me, and they were like just freaking me out, and I didn't know what to do. So I was like, I sent them a message to my tough a text to my mom. I was like, "Mom, what should I say? What do I do?" I told her to take some deep breath. And my mom actually picked her up and brought her up to her house because she was home alone at the time. And she's like 17. So we brought her over to my house just so she can calm down. And she didn't go to the dinner thing with us because, you know, it's understandable. And her mom actually came home to take her home in time. But, um, I'm just like, you know, what to do in those situations when you're not that person? You know, like, and also when you do feel depressed, you know, you do have a shitty day or something, like, but you don't have a disorder, but you just you freak out that maybe you do have one because I've been concerned about me having manic depression or MDD because my mom has manic depression and yes they haven't proved that it can be passed on but they haven't proved that it can be passed on they, 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 right now they're saying oh you can't pass on mental disorders it's not hereditary but they haven't proved that it can or can't so it's a very possible one but um, right now I, I seem to be clear I don't seem to have anything wrong with me but you know, and so I thought maybe my blog might be helpful, maybe inspiring, maybe not really, maybe it's just something for myself, you know, it's kind of selfish that I think I have problems and I want to share them with you guys, you're probably like, dude, this is nothing, um, but right now I feel like my family can't get a break for five goddamn seconds because a dog just died, my sister's being committed, um, again, not this, she, this is Katie's first time, um, my other sister's been committed twice and my mom's been committed two three times it's just stop you know okay well, i'm gonna go bye